the Cabinet Committee on Security recently greenlit the development and production of an advanced medium combat aircraft, marking a significant milestone in Bharat's indigenous defense capabilities. The decision underscores the nation's commitment to modernizing its armed forces and reducing reliance on foreign procurement. The project outlay is for rupees 15,000 crores for the fifth generation advanced medium combat aircraft for the Indian Air Force. The approval given is for the proposal to ready five prototypes of AMCA, which the Defense Research and Development Organization will carry out over the next five years. The Aeronautical Development Agency of DRDO, in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, will build the indigenous fifth generation AMCA. The first flight of AMCA is expected to take place in the next five years, that is before 2030. However, it may take more time than that to join the Indian Air Force. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request you to subscribe, share and like this channel. As per this agreement, General Electric of United States had confirmed to cooperate for the engines of MK fighter planes, in which case the prototype of MK will also be equipped with General Electric F-414 engines. However, once AMCA goes into production, it will be fitted with a heavy engine, either from Saffron of France or the General Electric engine. Talking about the payload carrying capacity of AMCA, it is expected to carry approximately 7,000 kilograms of armaments. In 2007, Bharat had tied up with Russia to develop fifth generation fighter aircraft in an effort to develop a stealth fighter Su-57. After several rounds of discussions related to workshare, engine and more, Bharat pulled out of the program in 2018. With latest avionics, indigenous ISA radar and powered by either Saffron or General Electric engines, the Indian Air Force is likely to induct around seven squadrons of the AMCA. The first two squadrons will have AMCA MK-1A powered by GE-414 engines which have a thrust of 98 kilonewtons. AMCA MK2 will be powered by a stronger engine of 110 kilonewtons to be developed indigenously by GTRE. One of the objectives of the AMCA program is to harness indigenous technological expertise and foster collaboration among defense research organizations, the private sector and academia. By leveraging domestic talent and resources, Bharat seeks to reduce dependency on foreign technology and strengthen its defense industrial base. The approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security signifies the government's confidence in the AMCA project and its strategic importance in safeguarding national security interests. It also demonstrates a commitment to fostering innovation and self-reliance in defense production, aligning with the broader goals of the Make in India initiative. The AMCA is envisioned as a versatile platform capable of integrating a wide array of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided munitions, standoff weapons and electronic countermeasures. This flexibility will enable the aircraft to adapt to evolving threats and operational requirements, ensuring its relevance for decades to come. As the AMCA project progresses, it is poised to strengthen Bharat's position as a global player in the aerospace industry while enhancing the operational readiness and capabilities of the Indian Air Force. With its advanced features and cutting-edge technology, the AMCA is set to become a cornerstone of Bharat's defense strategy in the 21st century. Jai Hind!